Hello, y'all. It's your girl Monet Exchange, and welcome to this episode of the Pit Stop. Today we have a queen who who is a comedy queen. She is a stand-up comedian. She has her own show, and we're here. But you know what? That doesn't matter because she's here. It's Bob the Drag Queen. Hey, girl. Tomato, tomato, tomato. No, no. This is not the pit stop. Welcome to sibling watchery. Roberta is season 14 of Drag Race. How would how for, before we start, overall, what was your thought about like I was very curious. Like watching, I was like, I wonder what Bob thinks about this episode. Like overall. You mean after or going into it? Going so in. two different thoughts. Oh, really? Going in, I was yeah, going in, I was kind of like, honestly, from the Meet the Queens, I was like, I'm not really feeling this cast. I'm feeling I was literally feeling one girl, maybe the two. Snack. It was like it was the snack and a little bit of Willow Pill. And everyone else, I was kind of like, they're all fine. I don't hate them, but they're, none of them were, like, jumping out at me. Bitch, this episode was so fucking right? good. Right? I was like, I feel bad for the next cast, the next episode, the the, the part two. Yeah. There, there's no way they're going to be as good as number. There's, there's Bob, you don't know that. No you don't know that. You're you right. don't know that. I don't know that. I do not know that. You're right. But I, I would be shocked if these girls were as interesting and entertaining. Because this episode of Drag Race Great. was so fucking good it's i was so obsessed good. it's so good and honestly before we get into it too far i just want to say off the off the bat i don't know how these girls feel comfortable being in a competition that cornbread is in i don't even know <laughs> i don't even know how you have Steve the Steeler. amount of confidence the amount of confidence it would take to be to look at cornbread and be like and think you're gonna win Drag Race is wild. Damn, Bob. Um. So should we get into these entrance looks? And Let's entrance get lines? into the entrance lurks and lines. Okay. So Alyssa Hunter comes in, and I I do not love this look, and I also don't like how she's ho- the way she's holding this bone arrow is so cringy to me because that's <laughs> not how you. I'm not Katniss Everdeen. Okay, but I but I know that's not how you hold a bow and arrow. Like I know First that. First of all, she's not doing Kenneth Everdeen. She's doing the bitch from Horizon Zero Dawn. That's what she's doing. So you don't no, even know no. your reference. What I'm saying is, what I'm, I didn't say she can't. I said I said I'm not Katniss Everdeen, meaning I'm uh, not an expert on bow and got arrows. It. Got it. Got it. But I watched your little your little show that I used to host that I gave you. <laughs> oh my god. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Bosco. Love. Says, all right, let's get out there and make a difference. I really like that that opening line. I like it's that. Really I, funny. I, I love and after that she said, Listen, I'm not just the skankiest queen. I am the skankiest queen. I was, I, no, she was I'm I'm not just some skanky Seattle queen. I am the skanky Seattle yeah, queen. Yeah, love that. I thought that was very cute. I like this look. I think it's a strong entrance look. I think that she's telling us what era, like what what style her drag is. I think I think I like her entrance line. I like her look. I think Bosco nailed it. Yeah, this look is great. The interest line is great. She looks amazing. She's kind of giving, she's. I mean, she's she's giving very unique like energy. She is. She seems funny. She yeah. seems fashionable. She yeah. seems unique. All in this little interest line and this look, I got it. She's funny, fashionable, and unique, which is yeah. really great. Yeah, it's like she's Monet. Bosco Chandler. better work. Yeah. Oh um, next up, your favorite queen, Cornbread, the Snack Jetag Raw. Cornbread is so good. And I don't want to sound biased, but I am biased. She's great. I <laughs> she's think really she's good. phenomenal. I love this look. I love the hair. Love. I don't love her interest line. Is you hungry because I'm baked? Because bitch, I'm Yeah, baked. I didn't get the baked part. I thought maybe there was something that I'm just not smart enough to figure she's out. Baked but okay. Because she's cornbread. Because she's cornbread. Oh. Got and also it. baked That's like cute. I think also baked like I'm on weed as well. Oh, she, she's um, a stoner. Up next, Bob. Willow Pill. I do not like how RuPaul is saying her name. Um, Willow, Willow is, is, is she? She sounds like you making fun of Andy telling me. I'm um, saying that, saying that we, we we like each other. Willow, Willow <laughs> Pill. I lo- her interest line is where am I? I love that interest line. The look, and I think the I think the interest line matches this look perfectly. I think this is so smart and strategic. I think I thought from the moment she walked in, I was like, I like when I looked in the shirt said angle. I was like, I'm immediately invested i i like i i i don't think this is like some great fashion statement i think that back when um high school musical was a thing and sharpay was dressed like this it was a moment but i think that it's really funny it's really clever 
And I think that she played the other girls perfectly because they thought she was some first out bitch. Uh, it was like Carrie Colby. Carrie Colby. I have one thing to say, baby. You already know every kiss begins with K. That's a cute um, entrance line. Obviously, Carrie is fucking something. She's beautiful. I don't like this dress. Um, it's not my favorite. It, I, I don't like the shoulder thing. I like the little flowy chiffony stuff, but the dress again is not my fave. Yeah, there's a lot wrong with this dress. I don't under. You know, if you're gonna wear one sleeve. Then it has to come across from the shoulder to the other armpit. Not, yeah. not, not looking like one sleeve was just removed just or never off. added yeah. to the garment. So yeah. if you have a sleeve, if you have a sleeve hole, then you need to have either two sleeves or no sleeves. Yeah. You know what I mean? But she is one of the most beautiful people I've ever seen in my life. Jesus Christ. Yeah, she's she's she's, she's absolutely she's absolutely stunning. stunning. Uh, I I do, I cannot say that I love it. Love her look. Moving on to another stunning Bitch. queen. June Jambalaya is so pretty. She is she, very she's pretty. gorgeous in the face. And she had my favorite promo look. And then I saw this into the workroom. I said, what is actually What's going, going on? on? I don't, I, I'm, I, I literally cannot wrap <laughs> my brain around what's happening in this look. Like I, her waist is cinched. Okay. Let's, uh, her waist is cinched. The wig is nice, and her face is stunning. That's where all the compliments end. Um, Shall we move on to Miss Orion's story? Okay, this... Hey, RuPaul. Yes, we've been trying to reach you regarding your car's extended warranty. Oh, perfect. <laughs> well, then I just have one more question for you. Are you ready, Boots? <laughs> what the fuck is... What the fuck was this? <laughs> what is this? What is... She wrote a whole scene, girl. I don't get the, how the hamburger matches her outfit. Yeah, I don't get the hamburger, but her outfit is nice. Also, it's fine. It is. It was one of my favorite fine. ones. I like it. And she made it herself. Okay. Uh, the photo shoots. Who did you think did the best in the photo shoots? Um. Well, from the actual photo, that's the thing. This is the thing. Like, you never know because you, you we don't see all the photos. But Carrie's right. photo was really good. I also thought it that was. Cornbread's photo, like Cornbread, was also when Cornbread started rotating herself back. That shit tickled me. Bitch, Pink. the centrifugal force, bitch. The, 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 the wheel was like, okay, okay. You driving the boat. <laughs> that, you driving the boat. Take, take it away, girl. Shit, she was just so entertaining. Like, she from, was. I mean, every moment she was on the fucking screen, she has been iconic. Not, I don't want to say iconic. She's been fantastic. Now, let's go on to, okay, so the <laughs> top of the runway, RuPaul is... <laughs> It's like doing this number, which I was not. I was like, what is going on? I was like, where am I even? I love them. I, I had no problem. I liked it, but I was so shocked. I was like, can you, this is not a sponsor. Don't be drinking nothing that's not sponsored. Put it in the cup. How do you feel about them doing a talent show for a regular season? Love it. Yes. Work. Let us see who you are up front. Let's go on to uh to June Jambalaya. June is, some, she just seems green. You know what I mean? Yes, I agree with that. I thought this was a. <laughs> I love how she had these fucking tr the, 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 the the fucking bushels in the background. I said they are really give, setting these girls up for like success. Um, and I thought it was a strong talent to do the African dance. The the, the fucking control top panties drive drove me insane. What made me even more insane is you got this custom African outfit made. Why would you not make them make you like some African like the, in the same fabric like shorts to put on under your thing or like a panty? And then when the the head thing her scarf started falling down, I'm like bitch, just pull it down, make it look like a necklace. Like don't be fucking with this the whole time. Just pull it down again it's because she's green this is the kind of stuff you do like not rehearsing in your outfits not thinking about making matching panties uh not tying your headband just tight enough this is yeah. all stuff that you do when you're like a queen who maybe doesn't have a lot of experience maybe she does maybe she has a lot of experience i just don't know but it, she seems green to me that being said her dance was really good um, let's go on to Bosco you know this outfit i believe was made by um the guy who made violet dress. Yeah, House of Candy. Um, and I think this looks really good. She kind of, she looks great. This is a really great, great look. The, the performance the performance was really great. Um, the idea was, I love when she took that because when you see it, I knew she was gonna peel those petals off. I yeah. knew it was coming, but I but I was still happy when it happened. It was started fanning herself. I was like, this is so good. I think this looks good. Bosco is a she's a put together queen. This girl For thinks sure. of the fucking details. Like she better fucking work. What's going on with Alyssa Hunter? What's 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 going on here? I I did not like this number. Um, because again, she made us think that this bitch would be playing the guitar. 
And like, bitch, you maybe there was like, a I, language barrier. Maybe it was language barrier. Maybe she was like, I'm going to be. Maybe maybe she doesn't know the word for air guitar in English. She said English is not her first language. Air guitar is a pretty specific word. I know, but no, but you said you're playing the guitar. You know what she was doing. You thought you thought you thought she was being cute. Carrie Colby. Carrie Colby. I, I agree with what the judges said. I wish she would have started jump up roping, jump roping from the beginning. And I wish she would have used like a light up jump rope so it would have been easier to see. I thought the same thing. I was like, she had like a neon one, something like that lit up because it was so hard. It, it looked like she was jumping with nothing. It looked like, bitch, for all I knew, she had yeah. two little sticks in her hand and she was just moving them like this. And I would just, and she was just pretending she was jumping through a rope. I did, you couldn't see it. I do wish that she would have just done more jump rope because the jump rope was very impressive. It was, it was, yeah. I think she should incorporate it a little bit more. It'd have been, it been, maybe would have made her um, have her be in the top. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Orion story, Lord Jesus. I will say <laughs> it do take nerve to it be like I'm gonna do. come in here and do it. It take nerve. It really do. It really do. <laughs> and when I watched Untucking, she was like, I just kind of ran out of time and I had to move and my cat was having health issues. I was like, that is all very upsetting. But also like, girl, um, yeah. let's go on to cornbread. Cornbread uh, did, an, did an, an original song, which is actually um. Ocean Kelly comes from the day. So this beat that that uh, Cornbread rapped over is like this. Uh-huh. Uh, this there's this this beat maker on YouTube who <clears throat> has this beat. And he like, he like licenses it out. So she actually went and like licensed this beat. Work. Like legally licensed this beat and like wrote this rap and like professionally recorded it. It was really good. Even down to the Merle Ginsburg uh, missing. <clears throat> so on good. The milk so good, Bob. And then I don't love this wig though. I gotta be honest. This, I don't love this wig. I think it might be Zach Killian, or maybe I'm correct if I'm wrong, y'all. I think it's Zach Killian, but it, she, it was great, and I love how she did. Like when she, when she bucked at the audience, I was like, "Cornbread is yeah. out here scaring white people." So Willow Pill, Willow Pill did a self care during quarantine number, and um, I honestly liked it. The reason why I liked it because when she pulled out the toaster, I started laughing. It's really dark humor, and I started laughing, and because it made me laugh, I thought it was good. Yeah, I did not get it. I did not get it. Now, See, watching it again she... for a second time. I, watching mm-hmm. it again for a second time, I got it. But when I just watched the episode for the first time, I was like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get it. Now, does that... But when when you ahead. think of a bathtub and a to- toaster, you don't immediately think about the thing. But she didn't put the toaster in the bathtub. That's the point. It's her self-care. Like, she, if you think it's getting dark, but she's just eating toast in the bathtub. She's just drinking wine, eating spaghetti and toast in the bathtub. Why does spaghetti in the bathtub? It was gonna go dark because she's eating all. She's eating. She's drinking wine and doing all this stuff in the tub. And did she say it was self care during quarantine? And she says that in her thing. When they opened it up and they showed everyone's talent on the screen, it says self care during quarantine. I must have missed that. See, I must have been taking a note or something because I, I think I missed some crucial details that made me not understand the number. And I will say, when she did a reveal from this ninety into her swimming suit. Her mm-hmm. Willow's body was so hot. I was like, yeah, yeah work, I, was, I, was, I, was like, I was like, not these little cakes. I was like, work, little Debbie cake. And I love, I love the fact that Willow has a tramp stamp. I know something so true is so small, but a bitch has a tramp stamp. I live, I live a tramp stamp. Yeah, it was great. After the um, after the lip sync, I mean, after the talent show, they go into their runway looks. Let's talk about them. the runway looks. So listen, I love books and I love reading, but in my day-to-day life, I really don't have time to sit down with a book and read it cover to cover. I wish I did. There's a lot of shame in not reading the books with your own hands, but I have made my way through that. So I've switched to listening to audiobooks on Audible, and it's really a game changer. I can listen to books, podcasts, amazing comedy, and even theatrical performances while I put on my makeup, while working out, or just doing some like boring old paperwork. Audible has everything from the bestsellers and new releases to celebrity memoirs, languages, uh, businesses, motivation. They have so many options. They also have original podcasts that I love and highly recommend. Go check out It Burns. It is a great podcast about competitive chili eating. Now, recently, they've just launched their newest plan, Audible. 
Audible Plus. With Audible Plus, you get full access to Audible Plus's catalog, which is filled with thousands and thousands of select originals, audiobooks, and podcasts, including ad-free versions of popular shows, as well as exclusive series. Now, I recommend this, and you should know that I star on Kate McKinnon's audio comedy, Heads Will Roll, which you can find there as well. So, if you want to check, it's me, Kate McKinnon, Tim Gunn, and maybe you've heard of her, Meryl Streep. Yeah, I roll with the big dogs. To use your Audible membership, you'll need to download the Audible app. The Audible app is free and can be installed on all smartphones and tablets. You can listen across devices like Amazon, Alexa-enabled devices without losing your spot. Visit audible.com slash rivalry or text rivalry to 500500 to start your free 30-day trial. Again, that's audible.com slash rivalry or text rivalry to 500500 to start your free 30-day trial today. These days, everything is online, and it's really important to me that my website looks as fabulous as Miss Monet Exchange does. Making websites can be hard, but I found a perfect home at Squarespace. Squarespace uses incredibly intuitive design to help build your website. You can build your dream website without knowing anything about code or computers, because God knows I'm not involved in the Matrix. I never been with the Matrix. So if I wanted to be in the Matrix, I'll purchase Squarespace. Amen. Squarespace has a really great and easy to understand analytics tool to help you gain powerful insights into who's visiting your site and how they're interacting with your content, including page views, traffic sources, time on your website, most read content, audience geography, girl, everything. They also take care of buying and managing your domain name and make linking into your website super easy. Buying a domain from Squarespace is simple because there are no hidden fees or price hikes. Each domain comes with an ad-free parking page and free who is privacy on eligible domains. Squarespace also has great SEO tools and takes the guesswork out of search engine optimization for your website, which means you'll get found in search by more people on the Googles more often. For me, this has been really helpful for selling my merch, honey. There's a lot of Monet Exchange knockoffs out there, them little $2 uh, ones that I ain't authorized, but sometimes they be $200, so make sure you're going to the right place. But I'm always confident my merch is at the top of the list because I use Squarespace. Squarespace has the tools you need to get your business off the ground, including e-commerce templates, inventory management, a simple checkout process, and secure payments. Whatever you sell, Squarespace has merchandising features to help make your products look their best darling. Head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash rivalry to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And let me tell you, they can be expensive, so this is a steal. You know, I'm an L.A. girl now. <laughs> so Valley. And what I miss most about New York City is going to see Broadway shows. I still travel to New York City a lot because I'm very welcome there. But sometimes um, it's for like last minute or I have to change my flight around. So it's hard to figure out when I can go see shows. Thanks to Today Ticks, I've gotten to see so many more shows than I normally would because of how quick and easy the Today Ticks app slash website makes getting tickets. They have amazing prices for some of the best theater I've ever seen in my life. And I do not say that lightly. Last time I was in New York, I used Today Ticks to snag a last minute seat at Caroline or Change, which you should all go see. It is absolutely amazing. This is, an, this is a brilliant, brilliant show. And I saved $30. Today Ticks is where it is at. Now, Today Ticks is your one-stop shop for theater tickets for the best value on tickets to Broadway shows and beyond. Just download your app or visit todayticks.com to find the show you want to see. Getting tickets is easier than ever. With the Today Ticks app, you can check out in 30 seconds and pick up your tickets with ease. Book your tickets months in advance or even the day of if you're feeling a little spontaneous. Now, listen, Today Ticks gives you access to exclusive pre-sales, limited time offers, digital lottery programs to sold-out shows, and... Day of discounted tickets. That's my favorite. Now, today, tickets isn't just for Broadway and London's West End. You can also find tickets in cities across the country and around the world, including Chicago, Los Angeles, D.C., San Francisco, Sydney, Australia, and more. See the show you've always wanted to see or discover something new that you always wanted to see just as much with Today Ticks. Go to todaytix.com slash rivalry and use promo code rivalry to get $10 off your first Today Ticks purchase. That's promo code rivalry at todaytix, T-I-X dot com slash rivalry for $10 off your first ticket purchase. Todaytix.com slash rivalry. Um, first up, June Jambalaya. I like this except for 
I don't like how it stops at like mid shin. If she would have paid, uh, got the outfit to be a full pant moment, like into the shoe out, it would have been great. But it's stopping mid shin throws it off for me. Again, it lo- she looks fucking stunning. Her face is gorgeous. I love this fabric. I love the crystal on it. It's just the bottom. Like 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 we talked about before. Is sometimes the shoe is such an afterthought that it kind of it can throw off a whole look for me. I don't think that the the these flowing uh sleeves are appropriate for the look. I don't get why they're there. I don't think they make mm-hmm. it look nice. And I also don't like this like shoulder piece that's kind of like buckled in the front. So you see the underside without the stones. And I don't think they look good. I I think it would look better without it. And also the 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 color is a, is a little it's not like ashy, but it's not rich brown. Oh, I like enough it. red. There's not enough red in it. To match her skin, I don't think, and I agree with you. It should go d- down her ankles. Yeah, it should go down her ankles. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, Bosco. Bosco. My, only thing, my only thing about Bosco is that this is a little reminiscent of what she walked in the runway in, and I'm like, are we going to see you in a horns you every mean, time you're out here? You mean her her entrance, the workroom? Yeah. Are, are you going to be in, Are you yeah. going to be in a horns every time we see you? Is, is this the thing? But that being said, this look in and of itself it looks really good. Yeah, I like it. And I think she's telling a story. I don't think it's going to be every time. I think this is a this is a nice through line for the whole first episode. Like uh, we saw agree, yeah. her. Yeah, I, 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 I really enjoyed it. I think she looks great. And I like the story she told us first episode. Good job, Bosco. She had a really strong start. Yeah, Bosco's a real contender. I'm shocked. I did, from her Meet the Queen, I, I did not see this. And I stand corrected. And I'm happy to, to be corrected because she looks she's really turning it out. She's very smart. Yeah, for sure. Speaking of her, Alyssa Hunter, who's wearing um, Alyssa ostrich. Um, this looks yeah. really good. It's, it's, it's giving very um, My Fair Lady, and it's uh, or or some sort of a. It's cute. I like this. Yeah, I see. I, I get the period. I, this is expensive. The bugle beating, the stones, the ostrich feathers. Like this is an expensive look. Oh, my only critique is like she kind of threw it away on the gloves. She just had like those like really cheap satin gloves when it, sh- it, it should have tied the glove in a little more. Okay, this is beautiful. She looks stunning. It's just like a little tiny detail of the glove for me. Um, but I think I, lo- I would wear this outfit. I love that hat. I like want the hat. My only critique is that um, that's not a real umbrella and I can tell it's not. Like that doesn't look like an umbrella. Like if you untie it, it wouldn't umbrella. Why do you care? It's, why do you care about her gloves? I mean, I care about what I care about. You care about what you care about. Why do you care <laughs> that her gloves don't match the rest of her look? Like it, it doesn't look like an umbrella. So my, it takes me out of the fantasy because I'm like, that's supposed to be an umbrella, but it's just clearly not an umbrella. But besides that, this looks great. Carrie Colby, I like the the K's and the panty, but the lines on the coat, I don't really love. And again, um, and 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 in, in her picture on Instagram, she wore nude pumps and it looks way better. The boots really throw me out of throw it out for me. Can we talk about one of my favorite Twitter interactions? Your homegirl, Gia Gunn, said, So happy oh, to God. see a trans person on an actual season of drag race. The doors that I've opened. And then oh, got God. Vic tweeted and said, I love my fake season. Oh. <laughs> Let's go on to Orion's story. Girl, no. Why? Why this outfit? I hated everything about this outfit, especially in my opinion. She had a she had a strong look entering the workroom. And this just looks crazy. This is your signature show-stopping drag. And you're Horton Hears a Roo? Girl, why? This is a this is signature. Also, I I mean, honestly, I gotta be honest. I hated Orion's belt. <laughs> oh <laughs> no, but I really I really don't like the belt. I really don't like the belt. <laughs> but, um, it's like the belt is too big and I don't get I don't I don't get it. Maybe it, maybe I'm not the intended audience. I don't get it. And when like, why Ruth the, said that just bitch look like she picking cotton, I said, Oh my God. Um let's go yeah. on to to, to Miss Bread. I agree with what the judges said. She did need a I Absolutely. think it was a head a headpiece would have made it look good. But besides that, this look is great. This look is yeah. really good. And I I commiserate I know the feeling. We, here's the thing. I'm not going to get down on queens because their tights are up because you do not know when this bitch tights ripped. You have oh. no clue if it, it could have happened Hello? right before you go on stage. And you cannot, mm-hmm. you don't, you cannot run back to the workroom and yeah, you put can't on tights. Do that. 
I love this. Yeah. This fabric is first of all, her and Lizzo went to the same. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure this is probably Michael Branville as well. Um, Imagine Cornbread looks stunning. Also, Cornbread, can we just give a nod to this bitch perfectly fucking nailing a her padding and the color of her tights? She has that. She has yeah. like a dark cha- a, um dark Java tight first and she put a light like chestnut fishing on top of it so it it comes out to be look it is perfectly matching her upper body that is fucking fair and i noticed a small detail but i love shit like that she looks do you know stunning. for a fact that's what she other tights or are you just assuming no i'm, I'm i because when the tight they zoomed in on the fishnet and i was like oh that's a java underneath and that's a chestnut tight maybe cornbread can 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 confirm or deny but i'm pretty sure it's a java capizio bottom and then she put a, a, a chestnut fishnet on top more fierce she has like a cute gait when she walks. She kind of like walked like this. She was. <laughs> oh, they did bitch about the fight. She's like, who I got? She like, cha cha, hey, cha cha, hey. <laughs> she was walking. I was living. <laughs> yeah, it was, very cute. it was very cute. She's charming. <laughs> very charming. On to Willow Pill. Oh, um, Willow I Pill. like this look. I wish that the leggings were like closer to her body. I don't like the wig though. The wig is what I don't like. The wig, I agree. I agree with that I did not like the wig. I liked everything else. I love the tights. I love... I I really enjoyed this. I thought it was great. Yeah. I love a top that goes down into leggings that goes down into, like, wrapping around, like, a footie as well. I think that's something oh, for about, sure. like, when, when the leggings go into the shoe, that is really cute to me. Yeah, I love. I think she looks... But I don't like this wig, though. And, and, I, and I, I would like for her to maybe... Exp- Explore something with her makeup. I'm not a makeup expert, but something about it is unpleasing. What was your favorite look? <laughs> My favorite look would have to be cornbread. Does not today. I think it looks expensive. I would fucking wear this. I love the gloves, the shoe. I, I cornbread is my favorite look for sure. I'm gonna give it to Bosco. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, I really, I really love this look. It also looks very expensive. I like how creative it is. I like how her her hair horns match her titty horns. Um, yeah. It, it, and it also just tells an entire story. The entire episode is just one fluid story. This, because this, like her opening look was that devil thing. Then it was a burlesque. And this looks like a burlesque devil. Maybe, I, maybe I'm trying to find a uh, connection with her or anything, but it all works for me. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I think she looks great, but my favorite was Cornbread. Who was your least favorite look? Um, Orion. Yeah. Like Horton has a rue. Terrible. I hate it. I hated this look. Yeah, it's not, it's not popping. Not great. It's not, it's not bussing, bussing. Um, yeah. And they go into the lip sync, and during this, lip wait, sync, did you agree with the bottom two? Did I agree with the bottom two? Uh, Is that what you would have put in the bottom Jambalaya, two? Jambalaya and, um, you know, I thought the bottom three were Alyssa, June, and Orion, and uh, I could have taken Alyssa or June. Either one of them could have been in the bottom for me, to be honest. Yeah. So I'm not mad about. I'm not mad about the bottom two at all. It was a mixed movie because I think June had a stronger talent, but Alyssa had a stronger runway. And I do love when Drag Race considers a runway because I think oftentimes we have agreed on this show that sometimes it's like they did. But did you see the runways? So I do think Alyssa's runway saved her from the bottom two this episode. Um, yeah. When I look at the bottom two in their performances, they were performing to uh, "Water Me" um, by Water. Lizzo. Yeah, and. Um, I agree with Trinity. She, June eight. I don't. Her, I don't. Uh, I don't agree. Bob eight, not eight. Eight is how you describe uh, Monet Exchange lip syncing against Juju B in All Stars Five, okay. or how Monet Exchange destroyed Justin Ray Bottoms in uh, season four. I mean, in season ten, or how Valentina lip syncing against Monet Exchange on All Stars Four. Okay, that's that's eight. Okay, those people ate those other girls. This was not that. It was <laughs> fair. It, you know, maybe you're right. No, I don't know. It didn't seem fair. Like, th- I, there was not a chance, there was not a moment that I thought that Orion was going to win. Not a moment. Not a single moment. Again, I do think June did better, but I wouldn't say eight. Also, when I will never, I, I get the wig under a wig. Queens revealing to an uglier wig on top of the, is, I will never understand it. It was giving very Theresa May Drag Race UK season three. The, a, 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 a nice wig under, under an ugly wig. And, you know, I, I remember back when, um, nice again, wig. honestly, the best reveal I've ever seen was this. I cannot remember her name. 
the queen from San Francisco who pulled it off a kitty cat, and then she had a kitty cat, and then she was bald. She, Nikki and Jizz. She, it's Nikki Jizz. Nikki Jizz. So uh, we'll, we'll try. We will try. We will. Uh, we're not promising it'll be here, but we will try to find it. It is a kitty cat under a kitty cat. Then she's bald. Then she rips her skin off and has on another kitty cat. That, yeah, that is crazy. <laughs> the that best. Shit was amazing. Crazy. So good, Nikki. Shout out to Nikki Jizz, who also did um, Bring It On Queen with me and Bob. She played mm-hmm. um, one of Bob's hood ass friends trying to trying to beat me up and my friends just just trying to do the little just trying to do a little dance. The the, the hood uh, bitches. Um, but I really uh, also when June those big sleeves got in the way, I would have handed those sleeves to each of the girls and been like, "Do not let go," and just run for it and rip them off. I'd have been like, "Hold this, hold this, do not let go of these," and then I would have run and just. Rip those motherfuckers off. That would have been Bob, epic. The girl, the girl in the corner was Willow Pill. June Jabalai would have snatched <laughs> Willow Pill from the back of the stage and thrown her towards the judges. That was not safe. Can you? Can you? <laughs> just Willow Pill just dragging across the stage. Oh my god! Oh my god! No. That would have been so funny. Oh yeah, shit. yeah. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Uh, you know, but, I ask this question every episode. I ask this question: Who's going to win Drag Race in fourteen? Who's winning? As of right now, based off today's episode, one. Person. I will say corn, cornbread. I say it's cornbread. Cornbread is the charisma is, is a thousand percent. The talent is a thousand percent. The uniqueness is up there. The ner- mm-hmm. uh, she is nailing it. She is so good at Drag Race. This is a great start. Cornbread yep, down. You're right. I agree. All carbs from here on out. It is cornbread's <laughs> game to lose. I think for me, for me, the top four. Honestly, we don't know Bobby. The top four. You haven't know, seen the other girl. I know, but I just, I'm telling you right now, I cannot imagine that next week is going to be as good as week. I would be, I would be dumbfounded if next week was better than. I would be dumbfounded. We shall Truly. see. We well, girls, we shall see. But if I had to pick top four out of this group, I would say it is going to be. Honestly, I'm confident saying the top four is going to be, um, corn, corn beef, corn, Will, Bosk, and uh, Carrie. Carrie. Whoo! Oh Lord, of mercy. that was hard. <laughs> I will say, oh, maybe because only seven queens. I'm having such an easier time remembering these names as opposed to UK three. I don't know why. It, it's way easier. Also, to their around. names sounded similar. It was like Crystal and wait, it was like Crystal Versace, Victoria Scone. Yeah, something about the names also just kind of were reminiscent of one another too. Veronica Green, Crystal. Yeah, it was a lot of yeah. Yeah. But anyway, um, this um, has been a good season. I'm, I'm so excited about the season, Bob. I generally am really excited. Too. The girls seem really good. This is good TV. It's it, it's all the things. Like there wasn't drama, but I wasn't mad that it wasn't crazy drama. Like it was fine. And but it's this is this is good drag race. I'm excited. Do you remember the drama from 13? I for, I just forgot about 13. that. Do you remember oh. like Tamisha and Candy like f- like like fighting? I was like, yes. Is do you think that you and I will get any, bitch from the Bronx? Do you think you and I will get any enemies this season? I hope not, but with you and me, probably, <laughs> probably, you're gonna gaslight the fuck out of me saying I don't like someone outfit. Oh, so what you're saying is that this person's shit. They should never do drag race, and you hate their entire existence. That's what you're saying, Monet. Person's gonna be like, Monet hates my family. It's gonna be a whole thing, probably. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> oh my god don't start answer with me answer, answer the question bitch answer the question <laughs> just answer the question um well all right y'all we will see you all next week um and bye everyone all right y'all man.